Welcome. This is a 30 minute yoga class to help you during your period when you're feeling pain, cramps, or even just aches in the lower back, the belly, the sides, the legs, the groin. Coming into a child's pose, I recommend taking the knees wide if that feels okay today. Otherwise, just keep the knees together. Before coming right into your child's pose, maybe pressing into the hands, pressing the hips down, really stretching through the back, and then slowly make your way all the way down. Now, option here to modify, placing pillows underneath between the, the hips and heels and underneath the torso for extra height, more support, more of a restorative uh, posture. Now here, maybe drawing the breath into the belly and creating space. So maybe feeling the lower back and the side body expand, feeling that waistband get a little tighter as you inhale. And as you exhale, do your best to really soften the belly, soften the hips. Just be heavy here. Know you are supported by the thighs. If you are uh, modifying, you're supported by the pillows, the blankets, whatever you have. Gently release, coming up into a tabletop, trying some cat cows here, dropping the belly. Inhale, take your gaze up. Exhale, rounding through the spine, take your gaze down. Now going nice and slow, flowing with the breath here. And again, just using your inhales to really create that space. And if you'd like, you can take a little modification here by sending the hips down as you exhale, rounding through the spine, and then coming all the way back up. And then again, exhale, rounding through the spine, send the hips down, really stretching through the spine, the back. This will really get into the lower body, the lower back. And whenever you're ready, gently coming down to your belly. Now just grabbing opposite elbows here just in front of you and you can take the elbows as far forward as you need or as close as you need. Just to really support you here in your gentle back bend. And maybe while you're in this pose again, really creating space, stretching out the cramps. So getting those cramps out of there using the breath. Maybe they'll go away, maybe they won't, but just having that intention to really create that space, giving the body space uh, during this time. Maybe feeling the belly pressing into the mat as you inhale and as you exhale, really softening the belly, softening the hips. Now you can stay right here or you can take it a little deeper, stretching that front body by bending the left knee. You can Rest your forehead on your right forearm, grabbing the left foot with the left hand for a deeper stretch. Again, it's gonna be different for everybody. This might not feel good for you today. Perfectly fine, skip it. Come to something that feels better. Um, for me, I know that on my period, uh, my thighs really hurt. They sometimes feel like they're burning. And when I stretch that area, I find just such a good release and relief. Um, so I know someone out there is going to uh, find this useful. But if not, no worries. It's your practice. Make it your own.
and we'll gently release, switching sides, once again staying wherever you feel most comfortable, and if not, if this doesn't feel right today or it's just a little too intense, skip it. Listen to your body. Every single person is going to be different on their period. They're going to feel different and their needs are going to be different. So do what the body needs today. And we'll gently release, planting the hands, take your time here, sending the hips back for child's pose. Feel free to take the knees wide, and again, you feel free to modify, utilizing your props, and just allowing the body to be really heavy here, maybe even gently rocking side to side, getting into the lower back, the hips, just finding that gentle rocking motion Maybe your thighs kind of massage your belly as you rock gently side to side. Great, and whenever you're ready, we'll gently release, coming to lay on our backs. We'll bend the knees, take the feet mat with distance, and just begin to rock the knees gently side to side. Rolling over the glutes, the sacrum, the lower back. For me, again, the lower body really feels uh, pretty intense during this time. So any sort of pressure or massage to the glutes, the hips, the lower back feels really good. And we'll go ahead and come into our supine butterfly pose. Bring the big toes to touch, allowing the knees to fall open. Bottoms of feet will naturally come to touch. Of course, you can place pillows underneath the knees for added height and support. Resting your hands on your belly. Drawing the breath into the belly, biggest breath you've taken today. And as you exhale, softening the mid back and the lower back, softening the hips, the groin, the knees, the feet and the toes. And we'll gently release, lifting the knees. 
Take the elbows in line with the shoulders and then just dropping both knees over towards the left. Back stays flat on the mat for a supine twist. Option here to modify placing pillows between the knees and underneath that left knee. You can even place a pillow or blanket, whatever you have on hand, really, underneath the right shoulder. And this will just take the twist a little less intense. Using your breath once again, a little reminder, creating that space, really important to release that tension from the body, just creating a little more space for a little more comfort and ease from any cramps, pains, aches, soreness. And we'll gently release. Switching sides again, taking whichever modification you need. Working with the breath. And we'll lift the knees, coming all the way back up, planting that left foot to the mat, and then taking the right ankle to the top of that left thigh or just above that uh, left knee. You can stay here, flex the feet, or hug the, knee, the legs into the chest by interlacing your fingers behind that left thigh. And of course, gently rocking side to side if that feels okay today. Really great pose to get into the lower back.
Then we'll gently release, switching sides. Stay wherever you feel most comfortable. Great, go ahead and grab your block or block alternative and we'll place it underneath the uh, tailbone. So having the tailbone in the center of the block so that your hips are resting over it, maybe the sacrum, placing your hands on your belly, drawing the breath into the belly. As you exhale, softening the hips, just allowing the hips to completely melt over this block. Noticing how the body feels here, just observing, no reacting, reacting less, observing more. If you feel yourself lifting, use your breath, use your exhales to really soften the body wherever you can. You can stay right here, or if you'd like, you can give yourself a little bit of a massage, massaging the belly, the sides of your torso, the hips, the glutes, maybe even the groin, wherever you need. I like to place my hands to my sides and take my thumb and really just press it into the lower back. The block allows for that space between the lower uh, back and the mat. Again, completely optional. option again you can just gently rock the knees side to side rolling over the glutes or you can find some stillness again whatever the body needs Whenever you're ready, we'll remove the block. Just place it to your sides, hugging the knees in towards the chest, grabbing the outer edges of the feet, bottoms of feet to touch. You can stay here, open the feet for a happy baby. Option here to gently rock side to side.
and we'll give ourselves one last hug here, knees to chest, and then we'll take our feet to the bottom of the mat or keep the knees bent, whatever the body needs today. Taking our hands to our sides, palms facing up, preparing for Shavasana. We'll take this one moment out of our day, out of our practice to just be, to be here with the body and it's fully relaxed and present state. Know that the pain is only momentary. It's all momentary. It shall pass. Take this time to really just rest, to rest the mind, rest the body. No doing, no flexing, no stretching, no thinking about what's next, just being. We'll work through the body from the crown of the head to the root of the body, the feet. We'll begin to soften the forehead. Keeping a gentle gaze with the eyes. Or begin to close the eyes. Softening the jaw, softening the back of the neck, allowing the chin to naturally fall here, no tension in the neck. Drawing the breath into the chest, maybe even feeling yourself lift as you inhale, expanding the ribs. As you exhale, softening the ribs, softening the upper back, the shoulders, the elbows, the hands become heavier, maybe the fingertips gently start to curl inward. Drawing the breath into your belly. As you exhale, softening the mid back and the lower back. Maybe in doing so, you notice a a deeper connection between the sacrum and the mat. Just observe here, take a moment, observe how the body feels around the hips, the belly the groin and the lower back. We'll soften the knees, the ankles, allowing the feet to naturally splay out here. Softening the toes. Resting here a few more moments. Continue to observe the body or even work through the body. Know that you are worthy of this time. And this space is here for you anytime that you need.
will gently begin to wake up the body, wiggling the fingers and toes, rocking the head side to side. Rolling over towards your right, full inhale. And exhale. Gently come to a comfortable seat. Inhaling the hands up overhead. Exhale, heart center. Thank you for joining. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it below, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on future videos and live streams.